how to start your preparation for the gate i have to study for the two hours from the 6 to 8 then uh, in the evening 6 to 8 like that it's not it's not like that some of the people are basically thinking gate is something else and the semester is something else no it's not like that. cracking the gate exam is not a rocket science you have to perform the three things first hello my dear friend my name is chandan jha and now i am going to tell you how to start your preparation for the gate along with your semester preparation so my dear friend uh there will be the some strategy but before going to that i just want to tell you to crack the gate exam with the single digit or double digit rank the right mentorship a proper guidance is required and in the gfg that is geeks for geeks there are excellent teachers school like khalil sir who has a 30 plus years of teaching experience malicham sir all uh, right alumni of iit bombay vijay sir a great energetic teacher satish sir right uh, avinash sir sakshi ma'am from the iit uh root key so we have a excellent pool of the teachers which will guide you guide you which will mentor you for the gate preparation right you can ask any type of the doubt with the any of the teachers my dear now to create a realistic first you have to make a time table and time table is not like a ideal time table you have to study for the 4 hour some of the people are making the time table in such a manner okay i have to study for the 2 hours from the 6 to 8 then uh, in the evening 6 to 8 like that it's not it's not like that you have to make a study plan you have to make a time table which is practical which is not a idea how we are going to make it it's totally your choice whether you want to study into the morning or you want to study into the evening it's completely your choice i know the sum of the student who secured a single digit rank who used to study into the late night and i know lots of student also who used to crack or who already cracked the gate exam with the single digit rank who used to study into the early morning so it's, again it's your choice in which time you are feeling comfortable you have to choose in such a manner one thing more my dear friend you have to think what should be the your available time when you have to study for example if you are the college going student definitely you have to go into the college from in the morning 8 o'clock and definitely you have to come approximately at 5 pm into the evening so you have to study either into the morning or into the evening now how much hours we have to devote it totally depends upon uh in which year you are starting your gate preparation suppose you are in the first year so that the 30 minutes and 40 minutes you are studying for the gate it's more than sufficient but if you are in the second year then you have to study for the 2 hours or more than 2 hours in a day suppose you are in the third year you have to study for the 5 hours in a day if you are from the final year and you have to crack that exam in the final year only you have to study for the 6 to 8 hours in a day so again in which year you are starting your preparation for the gate uh that will ensure how many hours you have to devote for the gate examination uh, for the preparation and one thing more apart from this this is also depends upon you have to make a proper plan according to the syllabus coverage you have to make a goal ki you have to cover this particular topic within the 7 days like that you have to make a plan and definitely will also guide you to make those particular plan and the third thing is because in the college we have a lots of things we have to perform right so my dear friend you have to now prioritize your work suppose you have to study for the gate that is one work second work is suppose in the cultural activity in your college you have to participate third work is the assignment is basically given in the college fourth work is suppose anything will be there so you have to give the priority in the priority number 1 priority number 2 priority number 3 so that you you will uh, you will cover the most important topic or most important thing before right or we can say that in those particular day only on the priority basis and that will help you to crack that exam and that will help you to uh, you can say that the effective utilization of your time one thing more try to cover or try to do all the things which is related to college within the college itself suppose in the college you will get some assignment or you are getting some assignment try to complete those assignment into the college itself right so that into the evening you will focus more into the gate and less into the some other work next one is called integrate the gate topic with the college semester some of the people are basically thinking gate is something else and the semester is something else no it's not like that suppose you are in the second year so some of the subject either two or three subjects which will or which are basically in your semester the same thing is in gate also so you have to choose the overlapping path 
and those overlapping subjects which is in semester as well as you get exam you have to study in very comprehensive way and rest the subject you have to focus according to the semester so identify the overlapping topic or overlapping uh, overlapping subject for the gate as well as the college subject map the gate topic to the college subject semester wise integration strategy you have to follow suppose you are starting into the second year you have to write the gate into the third year only so in the second year you have to two semesters are there so you have to think okay it so approximately 80% syllabus i have to cover in this uh, first second uh, third semester and the fourth semester and that will also come into the your uh, semester as well as into gate also so according to that you have to make it. now maximize the study session maximize the study session means what the study session maximize will happen only when you will avoid the distraction and you will you will make a priority on your work so my dear friend create a distraction free environment suppose you are studying for the gate examination so make a environment in such a manner the other your friends are also preparing for the gate examination so that they will help you for preparation they will never distract you right and follow the uh, pomo uh, doro technique that is a very uh, you can say that the famous technique because sometime if you will study for the 3 hours and 4 hours constantly na it will become boring right and energy is basically required into the study so you have to follow right 30 to 40 minutes you have to study then you have to take 5 to 10 minutes break again you have to follow the 30 to 40 minutes study and then again you have to take the 5 to 10 minutes break so that you will maintain the consistency with the very uh, you can say that the efficient manner next colleges are basically into the weekdays from monday to friday so saturday sunday the most of the colleges there are holiday there will be the holiday so you have to utilize those weekend in very efficient manner you have to study more on the weekend suppose in the weekdays you, you are studying for the 3 hours so in the weekend for the saturday as well as the sunday you have to devote at least 6 to 8 hours so that the syllabus will complete on time and you will get the more time for the revision as well as the full length of mock test after that my dear friend use the resources effectively because in the college you have a library you guys are basically able to access all the books so use of it right take the books right and solve the at least solve the example from uh, those particular books online courses and lectures are available use efficiently for those things previous year questions paper are also you have to solve right and mock test also you have to you have to attempt because mock test will give you the idea how your preparation is basically going on one thing more everyone try to understand cracking the gate exam is not a rocket science you have to perform the three things only your concept should be strong you should solve the or the last 30 year pyq and then solve the write the mock test and do the revision if you follow these four things definitely you are able to crack that gate examination try to cover the entire syllabus before the october month so that in the from the november december or january you have to do the revision you have to write the mock test full length test and at least 20 full length test mock you have to write so that you you will got to know what type of the mistake you are performing into the during the solving the questions right and so that you will work on it and you will resolve those particular problem right after that might be a friend device consistently revision is the key already i have given the idea because there are lots of subject and subjects are there so whenever you will go into the fifth or sixth subject you are studying now you will feel like the first and second subject is vanished so how you guys are basically going to uh, remember those subject also by the revision so make a proper revision study plan first we have to complete the one subject then you have to start the second subject after the completion of second subject you have to revise the first as well as the second subject then you have to start the third subject so whenever you will go go into the move right into the further previous subject also you have to revise so in the cyclic manner you have to do the revision and that is the scientific uh, technique to revise the subjects also right uh, track the progress and assess already you you are guys are basically going to write the mock test so in the mock test on the solving during solving the question by subject wise question topic and uh, mix the subject wise you have to understand how the your progress is where you are lacking right which subject uh, you are not feeling comfortable so you have to devote more time on those particular topic on those particular subjects so maintain a progress track regular self assessment is basically required focused in what and improvement plan is basically required whenever you do not have any plan you will stuck into the anything talk to your mentor they will guide you right and after that periodic performance review is essentially required 
and always because this is not a two month or three month preparation right this will take a long time long time so the motivation is essentially required my dear friend so always you have to stay motivated and for the stay motivated set a clear and achievable goals suppose you are making the goal in such a manner you are not going to achieve it definitely you feel depressed you are going to demotivate it so you have to make a goal in such a manner you are going to achieve it do not over estimated goal you have to make right surround it the people with the positive influences right do not uh, you can say that make a friend in such a manner they are going to demotivate you ki are yaar tujhse nahi hoga it's not like that make a surrounding in such a manner they will motivate you towards your target track the progress and acknowledge growth take care of your mental health and physical health also that is essentially required because sometime very regressively study is required so on those particular time the mental health is also a very strong is basically required right so you have to take a proper manner food you have to walk you have to uh, uh, take a to some time also in which you have to talk with your friends right so that you will get the positive environment so uh, key take away of this thing is consistency is essentially required integration with the college subjects is basically required time management uh, some of the time you will get into the college itself suppose for the 8 hours the college duration is there so in the 8 hours the all the 8 hours you are not going to study some of the periods are basically like uh, you can say that the vacant also so you have to utilize those particular time also especially for the assignment and the activity which is related to college you have to finish into the college itself right uh, self assessment is required and mental physical health is basically required by different and anybody want to start their gate preparation with the gfg so my dear friend we have a three type of plan one year that is for the gate 2026 two year gate plan for the 2027 and three years gate plan for the 2028 and already the batches started so if you have not enrolled it and if you want to start your preparation with the gfg just enroll it because the one year course is going to be start from the 6999 rupees and one thing more you have to use the code upskill30 by which you will get flat the 30% off for the all the courses again if if you have you required a mentorship scan it and you have to fill the form and you will get the mentorship from our expert teacher and goals courses if you want to explore our courses just scan this qr code and for the follow the linkedin and telegram scan those particular qr code my dear friend so hope everything you will get to know if you have any doubt just write down into the comment box i will respond for those particular query till that thank you very much all the very best jai hind dosto